lot about severe weather, but lightning may have not gotten enough of our focus because we have had so many reports of wind and hail damage and also tornadoes. You're looking back at Monday's storm reports. Now, every blue dot on this map indicates where there was uh, wind over 58 miles per hour or hail three quarters inch or larger. And the triangles indicate where the tornado touchdowns. On Monday, we had a number of those just outside of Dallas, Dallas County. I think something like seven tornado touchdowns, and we did have reports of fatalities with that. Tuesday, it was the same story, just a little bit farther to the east. Now, Wednesday afternoon's storm report shows basically the same thing. It's early in the day when we have this report, so uh, we'll probably be adding to it through this afternoon. Here's the setup that has brought us severe weather this week. We have one frontal system, it just hasn't been moving much. We have high pressure in the southeast that's been very strong and that's just been holding that front back. But while doing so, it's been pumping up uh, southwest winds. So warm air in place here, very cold air behind it, cold enough for snow. We've actually had a record snowfall and record lows out ahead of it, record highs and a lot of moist air. Uh, that those winds coming in off the Gulf of Mexico really bring the dew points up, which is just an indication of how much moisture is in the air. Very high or high moisture when you hit temp dew points in the 60s and the 70s. In addition to that, the jet stream has just been bringing one area of low pressure after another to ride up along the frontal system. And as they do so, well, of course, then we get the severe weather. So that's what we have this week. Severe weather all along this front looks like it may last for at least a couple more days. So if you are in a watch, that means that conditions are favorable for severe weather to develop and you should be prepared to go to an area of safety. However, if your warning is issued for your area, that actually means that severe weather has been spotted or detected on radar. If the warning is for you, then you should go to shelter immediately until the storm passes. And it looks like we'll be talking more about severe weather this uh, next several days. It's pretty typical in the springtime. If you would like to learn more about severe weather and lightning to be specific, check Chapter 11 and your Weather Classroom Handbook.